Hello and welcome to Confab, a journey through the world of constructed language by somebody entirely unqualified to talk about the subject. My name is Aiden and I am making this series as a means of documenting the process for creating my first conlang. I'm doing this for a few reasons. Uh, first, I hope that um, needing to explain my creative decisions to an audience will force me to really think through the decisions more comprehensively and make sure that I'm able to justify to myself every step of the process why I'm making the decisions that I'm making. Secondly, there's just so few good series out there aimed at helping beginners learn how to make conlangs that I'm hoping that even though my experience is limited, it's, I still might be able to help somebody out. One second. If you're a beginner and you haven't checked out David Peterson's web series, The Art of Language Construction, or Artifexian series about uh, constructed language, or Zidnaf's channel, um, I would highly recommend that you go and check those out first. Um, they all have a lot more knowledge than I do, and they'll be able to help you form a solid foundation on which to build um, your constructed language. This should just be like the cherry on top, you know? Of a well, you got like the well-balanced language construction YouTube series meal, and then you got me as like the dessert, because I'm sweet. I've been interested in this art form without really knowing what exactly it was, not knowing that there was a name for it, uh, for basically my whole life. Like I remember being eight years old and on vaca summer vacation with a friend um, and like we decided to like make up our own language, which basically just meant coming up with different words for like the things we saw around us, like mud and trees. Um, I don't remember what any of those words were, but uh, I think that just goes to show you how innate this like itch to create a language can be in a lot of people. Um, even at a young age. I'm pretty sure we also like tried making our own religion too. I don't remember anything about that either, but I don't know, nerdy kids I guess. Uh, flash forward to about a year ago when I started following David J. Peterson on Tumblr just because he seemed like a cool dude, which he totally is. Uh, I was immediately enthralled with his work. I started um, investing a little bit in the community, like I watched his entire YouTube series as well as the other channels that I mentioned earlier. I joined the Conlang subreddit, I was just reading these different articles online, learning about other types of constructed languages. Um, I got his, David J. Peterson's book, The Art of Language Invention, as well as Mark Rosenfelder's The Language Construction Kit for Christmas last year, um, and I consumed both of those books in like a week. I mean like a lot of beginners, um, I quickly got overwhelmed because um, without a linguistics background, and sometimes even with a linguistics background, the process of creating a language can feel like this big, insurmountable task. So I got super overwhelmed with my last project, um, and I ended up dropping conlanging for a few, like, weeks slash months. But really, re really recently, um, like a few weeks ago, uh, I sort of got the conlang itch again, um, which again, like, I think is something that's innate in me, and I think it's innate in a lot of people who end up getting into this, um, that, like, you can't really put it down for a long time. So if you are feeling overwhelmed like I was, and you're uh, just like don't know where to go, and you're like, oh my god, I can't do this, I think it's totally fine to like take a break and take a breather. Um, I know I was worried like, oh, like I'll never go back to it. Like the conlanging was this thing that like I tried and then I didn't do, and I was like, I made my mom buy me books for Christmas. Like I wasted so much money and time on this, um, and then I'm never gonna do it again because I like just dropped it. I gave up. Um, but it wasn't, it was, it's not like that because it's something that like I couldn't really like stop myself from doing or thinking about because language is so fascinating to me as a person. Um, and I found that like actually taking that break was super, super, super helpful because I was able to process a lot of the information that I had been overwhelmed by. I was able to like internalize like what's an ergative, what? on um, the IPA, like I was able to, I remember like when I was taking that break, I like looked at Wikipedia um, and I saw like the IPA symbols for a word that I was looking up um, and I like knew what it was, like I knew how to pronounce it. Um, and before like the IPA had felt like overwhelming to me. Um, so yeah, like if you're in that place, um, it's totally fine. Like if you want to take like a, a week or two or three to um, just like chill and process and like live your goddamn life. So if you have any suggestions or comments or if you just wanna like validate my self-esteem, I'm all about that. Um, just like leave a message for me in the comments. Um, and I guess like like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm hopefully going to be putting up videos pre pretty regularly. Um, I, I don't know if I'll be able to stop myself, um, but I do tend to be that one of those people who gets caught up in like new projects a lot, uh, like a lot. Um, and for, like forget about things like I don't, I'm not the best at like time management or priority. So feel free to like, um, like shoot me an email or like if you find me on the conlang subreddit, uh, my email is um, aidenwood at gmail.com and on reddit I'm stargazer aaw and I'm also on the conlang critics uh, uh, discord server um, now.
as of a few days ago. So you could probably find me on there. Uh, I'm also Aiden Wood. So yeah, um, and I'm also uh, at Aiden Wood on Twitter, but I don't use Twitter very often, but you can follow me anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that uh, you'll stick around. <laughs> Bye.